Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Hope you're doing fabulous today. So we got an update from Bioware on some known issues within the Cataclysm and some concerns on the current Cataclysm build as well. Some damage numbers from gear and weapons are not functioning as intended. Some support items are also not functioning as intended, so they confirm that. All those things will be getting a fix very soon, but most importantly, they said Jairus Wrath is, well, kinda OP. Yeah, we know. First of all, I don't know who went to make these complaints because I know all the factions in the game were not complaining about these damage numbers, so I know it had to be an Anthem player. The major complaint, however, is going to be that Jairus Wrath and a few other elemental weapons are overshadowing the others with their significantly larger damage numbers. Personally, I would say that it has better utility, not just higher damage than the rest. Better utility is what makes it overshadow others. And since Jarrah's Rat will be getting a second look, chances are that other elemental weapons will be seeing some major changes as well. Now, I've said it before in my weapon reviews that the major issue with other Cataclysm weapons is not going to be the damage numbers, but the technical aspect of most of them. A weapon is either super effective or just plain garbage. Most of them don't have a combination of both utility and damage. It's one or the other, and that is what makes the Jairus Wrath way effective than the rest. While others either have good damage and bad functionality, or great functionality and low damage, Jairus Wrath is a perfect blend of damage, functionality, all the utility, it has everything. And this also shows us which weapon received the most development time compared to the rest of them. It is as if all the other weapon ideas came out of the perfection or the perfected Jairus Wrath build. And that is something that a lot of us can definitely see. So, one weapon working significantly better than others can create a huge gap between better and other useless weapons. Jairus Wrath and a few weapons have that factor and have created even a much bigger gap between themselves and regular weapons or other Cataclysm weapons within the game right now. In fact, all you need in your loadout right now is a Jairus Wrath in slot 1 and maybe another power weapon in slot 2. And I blame this on Bioware's poor design of the rest of the set. If all the weapons in this Cataclysm have the same level of usefulness, then players will have a greater choice instead of just sticking with a single weapon, hereby creating a meta. Some of you have heard it before that some of these weapons look the same and all that kind of stuff. And this goes into the development side of these weapons. If they had put more effort into designing them, and not just Jairus Wrath, then we won't have this problem because the biggest issue you can create is giving someone something good and then taking it away and changing it. And I know that this upcoming nerf is to balance all the archetypes within Cataclysm and the game as a whole, but I'm also a believer in fixing the technical aspects of all the weapons before nerfing the top tier ones. Because once you fix the technical aspect, then you can see how it performs compared to Jairus Wrath. All these other weapons could now come to the same level. Now, this is my own thought process. Let me know if I'm wrong. Now, if you guys read the notes, Bioware even already confirmed in line one that some weapons and gear are not functioning properly, something that I mentioned in my reviews few weeks ago, which also goes back to my theory of Jairus Wrath being the only weapon that received the most amount of development time. We currently have weapons with bad hit detection and low magazine in the Cataclysm that I believe needs to be fixed and increased, so I would like them to fix those first before nerfing the damage. If they do that, it will reduce the negative impact of nerfs on the Cataclysm weapon set. So that is just how I feel about it. I'm okay with balancing weapons, but please make others useful first. You cannot nerf something and still have the rest looking like trash or performing like trash. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this. Am I wrong? Am I right? Maybe there are some things that I'm just getting wrong in my thought process. I would like to know down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.